Hi guys, in this episode of Rate the K, I'm gonna be starting off my two part reaction to One Assist Devil album, which was released last year with the title track uh, No Diggity, I think it was. And it's probably my favorite One Assist song, or at least it's definitely up there. I think it's their, definitely their hardest hitting song, and I really, really love that song. Um, and because of how much I love that title track, I've decided to check out this album. Yes, I know it's been like a year since it was released, but now uh, is the time that I've actually had the time to sit down and do this reaction because I've wanted to check out this album ever since that title track was released but this is the first time uh, I had the time and the interest to really sit down and do it and uh, the songs that I'm going to be checking out from that album in this video uh, are going to be uh, Leftover, Incomplete, Youth and uh, what I believe is the, the name of the fourth song, Rewind um, the reason why I'm splitting it into two uh, episodes as pr uh, for every single album is because uh, I otherwise cannot put the names of every single song in the title of this video, so I have to split them into two. And yeah, I don't really know what to expect in terms of quality for these B-sides, I haven't uh, ever reacted to one of B-sides before, so potentially if I end up enjoying a decent amount of these B-sides a lot, I probably would be interested in checking out more, because like for example, I now uh, am reacting to Wanna's, uh, not Wanna's, uh, Wanna Wee B-Sides. I decided to check out their whole discography because of how much I actually uh, liked their last few title tracks. And I feel like I'm just interested to check out some of their B-Sides because they've also been really good. So if I like these B-Sides, I'll check out some Wanna's B-Sides, uh, uh, of Wanna's B-Sides as well. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's start off the reaction with the first song, Leftover in 3. Two, one. And like for every album uh, reaction that I do, I'm only reacting to the B sides once unless I really, really like uh, the song. Honestly, the quality of this song is actually pretty high. I've been a little, a little spoiled with the last uh, few album reactions that I've done because the quality of B-Sides has been so high. Like, this feels as good as a B-side, but not necessarily as in interesting as a B-side. I'm still positive on this song, though. Like, I easily could see this song being the title track for, like, a um, somewhat of a new group, you know? Or, like, for some group like App 6 or 6. Like, it's kind of like a generic uh, title track kind of song. That's the vibe I'm getting from this one. But it's a B-side, which makes it really good because B-sides usually are not this good in K-pop. Although, out, out of the last few groups and albums that I've checked out, most of them have been really good, so maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, I really like this part here.
Okay, so this also seems to be like their first full length album, which is interesting. A lot of the times it seems that a group's first land album, uh, first uh, full length album also seems to be like their best or has a lot of their best songs. So I hope that's true for this album. And yeah, uh, this first song honestly is pretty good. I think it's uh, for sure above average uh, in terms of its quality compared to your average K-pop B-side. For, it's for sure really good. And like I already explained, it feels... It has the quality of a B-side, but not necessarily the depth or the interest of a B-side. I feel like, or at least like, another way to say it is, it feels like a quality B-side, but from another group. It doesn't feel like a B-side that one us would do. It feels like something uh, any other generic K-pop boy group would do. So, yeah, while I appreciate the quality of it, I feel like it wasn't necessarily as interesting as I was looking for. So. Hopefully we're gonna get something a little bit more interesting in the other uh, uh, six songs of this album. But I'm still pretty satisfied with this one as well. If the quality of the album sticks at this level or even gets better and I get at least like one or two songs that I'm really, really, really into, uh, I'll definitely be interested in checking out more from them. But yeah, I feel like I, I, sh I definitely could get more of an interest into this song if I check it out a second time. But there's a lot of songs in this album, and I've already reacted uh, to a lot of uh, K-pop songs today, so I don't really, I can't really do that. And I don't do that for album reactions, so maybe the song should have been a little bit more uh, interesting to me, uh, for me to check it out a uh, second time. But yeah, um, in terms of a rating for this song, I think I'm gonna give it a solid 9 out of 10. For a B-side, it's definitely a really, really good one. But again, it's the first B-side of theirs I've ever checked out, so I can't really make a lot of comparisons uh, to really be able to give you a super accurate rating in terms of how it compares to other B-sides of theirs, but it's pretty good. It, it's definitely better than your average B-side. So now let's get into the second song of this album, that being the song Incomplete. Uh, let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. Okay, I kind of like where I think this song is going to be going for. Man, recently I've been really fucking good at picking really good uh, albums to react to because so far I, almost every album reaction that I've done has had high quality b-sides. Because like this is good, this is like really good for a b-side. This actually feels like a title track they would do. What the hell, dude? Man, I gotta check out more B-sides from groups, man. Like, this is what I was looking for, man. I guess one of us as well have some really high quality B-sides. I'm happy about that, man. It's more fun to do album reactions when I actually enjoy the B-sides. And like I said, recently, all, almost all the albums that I've reacted to have had high quality B-sides, which is kind of mind-boggling, because I've always been under the impression that most B-sides by groups are not that great. But I really like this one. 
And I feel like this could have easily been the title track of this album. So I think you can already tell how I'm gonna rate this one. Like, I'll definitely be listening to this song outside of this reaction. It's too good, man. And I'm definitely interested in checking out more of their B-sides. If this second B-side is already so much better than even the first one, which was already really good, wow, then that means that all of their B-sides must be of very high quality, which I'm really happy about if that truly ends up being the case. But yeah, as much as I like this one as well, I'm not gonna be uh, checking it out a second time, but I do really, really think this is a good one. Uh, the only thing that I can kind of have as a criticism for this song is that I feel like uh, the instrumental that they're going for for this feels a little bit... I don't know how to describe it. It feels... Like, I don't like that it goes for a more of like an instrumental-based chorus. I guess it's kind of what I'm going for, uh, what I'm trying to say. And like the instrumental is kind of like very electronic. And when you go for an instrumental based chorus with like an electronic uh, sound like this, it kind of makes the song feel a little bland, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. I kind of like these kind of songs for the most part, but it is a little bit of an issue because it does make the song feel a little bland, like I said, but still, it's a really high quality song, when it, when it gets good, it's really good, which is why I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. For a B-side, this is amazing, man. Although, like I said, recently I've checked out so many amazing B-sides, I can't even tell you the names of all of them, so... Yeah. I honestly feel like I kind of have to do a top B-side video at some point, because of how many amazing B-sides I've listened to in the last month. I, mean, I hope that this means that the rest of the songs are gonna be also this level of good because this was a really good song, man. But yeah, uh, let's get into the next song, Youth, in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> okay, I think this one's gonna be a little weaker. Okay, I honestly kind of like this a little bit. It's definitely, uh, ob obviously like a more low-key and more of like a ballad song. It's honestly still kind of enjoyable. Even for me, which is saying something. Because you usually don't like this kind of songs. Okay, 
Yeah, this one is honestly kind of nice. At least it's like different and interesting. It's not necessarily what I want to listen to from them, but I'll take it. I'll take a good song, you know? I like this, it's enjoyable. It's like a very comfy and comforting kind of song. I kind of like it. Like it's, at the very least, like surprisingly catchy. I did not expect it to be this catchy. I, st I honestly would say that the first song, Leftover, is probably my least favorite. Because that one, like I said, felt uh, the, the, the least interesting. It was just of this level. Similarly, of the same level of quality, but it was less interesting than even this. Okay, this was a nice uh, ballad-like uh, soft song. I honestly really enjoy this one. At first I was like, oh, okay, so this one's gonna be the weak one of the album. Uh, that's fine. But then it actually started to be very catchy and very engaging, uh, more than I expected it to be. And yeah, this won me over. Usually, uh, if, you, if you're if subscribed to my channel, you will know that usually I don't like these kind of songs. Like the more soft or ballad-like songs, not because they're bad, but because they're not really interesting to me and it feel kind of boring. Because I'm more into the uh, super energetic and maximalistic kind of songs, which have a lot of sounds and a lot of stuff happening in them. So these kind of songs feel boring in comparison uh, for me. So for me to like a song like that, it just speaks volumes to how good it actually is. And yeah, I really, really enjoy this one. Um, in terms of a rating, I'm also gonna give it a pretty high score of 9.2 out of 10. I think it's really good it's really good but i'd still say incomplete is the best because it's just very fierce and energetic compared to both this and the first song which felt a little bland but yeah i'm honestly uh, really really happy that uh, uh the quality of these songs is, is this high but i'm also a little surprised that the quality of these songs is this high because uh, well, part of me expected that the quality is going to be this high because oh, Wannawee's quality of, of music is already pretty high. I also wasn't expecting that I was going to get another group whose B-sides are this good, especially this soon, because I only like two or three weeks ago reacted to um, uh, to Everglow's B-sides and I was blown away by how good they are. and. Only like two weeks ago, I reacted to Obtentions B-Sides and I was blown away by how good they are. So, I can't believe I got another group whose B-Sides are fucking amazing. I love that. I love that. But that is also kind of ruining uh, my ability to uh, uh, to critique songs. Because not only is there not much to critique about these songs, but what else can I say, whether it's a positive or, or a negative, that I already haven't said for all these songs, because they're all so high quality. It's like what I'm gonna say, oh yeah, it's a good song, I really enjoyed it. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it that much. Like, I kind of want uh, one album to be kind of bad so I actually have some things to say about it, you know? Because I feel like I'm not really saying much about these songs. They're all enjoyable and I obviously recognize the difference between the three, the three songs so far and what they're going for and I can point that out, but I don't know if I'm really doing a good job of critiquing them. But yeah, I enjoy this one, uh, despite the fact that it's a little bit more outside of uh, what I enjoy. But still, we have one more song to check out, that being the song uh, Rewind. So without further ado, let's get into Rewind in 3, 2, 1. And also, this is a performance video, so that's definitely going to be a little bit more entertaining. Oh yeah, 
this is another really good one. I still think uh, Incomplete was the highest quality of the B-side so far though. But this one's pretty good as well. At least whenever it gets a little bit more energetic. And also this one seems to be another one with like a very instrumental uh, bass chorus. It's definitely kind of similar to Incomplete. Why, but I'm just a sucker for long hair on guys. Maybe it's a little bit of jealousy that I can't pull it off that well. Okay, so, um, my statement for this song might be a little bit controversial, but I feel like this song is just incomplete, but a little more forgettable. I don't mean it that it's a bad song or anything, I, th I still think it's like very enjoyable, and I still think it's uh, of the same quality as all the songs so far have been, but it doesn't really feel like it differentiates itself from the other songs, or at least specifically from incomplete, it feels like it's... In many, like, in many ways uh, done uh, in, a, in the same way with similar ideas and everything but it feels like this one is a little bit less engaging because it goes for an even more of an instrumental based chorus and that kind of just loses me uh, personally especially because of how tired I am uh, at the moment which uh, is because I've been uh, reacting uh, for the last like two or three hours uh, almost without rest but I have to do these reactions today, I have no other choice. But yeah, it's still a pretty enjoyable song. Um, I, I'm just bothered by the fact that it's not different from the other ones, you know? It's like when, when you have songs with a very similar level of quality, the last thing you want with those songs is for them to blur into each other. That has kind of been one of my issues when I was reacting to Astro's B-Sides, which I still have a couple of albums to, to check out before I'm done where their quality is really high but also a lot of their songs just blur together after a while which is not a good thing uh, for me because then I don't really feel an interest in checking out specific songs uh, which is usually the reason why I check out uh, b-sides and like listen to b-sides because usually I stick to title tracks for the most part but yeah so far this album has been pretty good uh, uh, I'm glad that it actually is as good as it is because I was hoping but I was not necessarily expecting it to be uh, this good. So I'm glad it actually turned out to be of very high quality. 
it's really enjoyable when the songs I react to in these albums are really high quality. But yeah, um, that's gonna be it for the first part of this reaction. Um, you're gonna have to check out the next video for the next part. So yeah, before we end this video, I just wanna give a huge shout out to my currently three patrons on Patreon. Omar Bridgman, Deadpool and Shenches. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me that you have decided to support me and have continued to support me for such a long time. Hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And now, before we end this video, I just want to talk about something uh, to you guys very quickly, um, which some of you may or may have not noticed before or know about me, that being the fact that I am trans. And yes, this may come uh, as shocking uh, to some of you because I don't really flaunt it that much on my channel, or at least I feel like I don't. Um, outside of like my K-pop reactions, which is where I feel like the most comfortable being myself like this. And yeah, I am in fact trans. Um, I'm not necessarily full on uh, male to female, but I heavily want to transition to being pretty female. I do consider myself more non-binary though, or maybe gender fluid would be the best descriptor as well, because I do have occasional moments where I feel fine being like just a normal guy, but most of the time, like right now, I do feel very dysphoric. Um, and that's why I'm asking you guys for any help that you can give me, because my situation right now, I... I don't really see any way out of outside of you guys' help because and this is gonna be kept short and concise I live with my parents they're never going to accept me as a trans person they, they just never will and as a matter of fact back when I started the YouTube channel I was actually kind of slightly starting my transition back then with like starting to grow out my hair um, I even got to DIY HRT, but because my parents started noticing certain things like uh, uh, my behavior had changed a lot and my clothes had changed a lot, I kind of had to stop doing that because they were constantly nagging me about cutting my hair and just started to kind of be threatening in a certain way and felt like they were ashamed of me and everything and that just kind of that kind of stress just tired me out to the point where I just gave up but as dysphoria goes it just doesn't go away you know I still feel like this and in fact it's somewhat been intensifying again recently so I just wanted to share this with you guys and again I would really appreciate any amount of support you can give me in regards to this because um, I just don't see any way out of this because even if I mo uh, moved out of my parents house and got my myself a job and everything that's just not gonna work for long-term uh, planning because once I transition it's like I probably will not be able to get myself a job because my country is very transphobic nobody gives a shit about LGBT people at all so there's not even much I can do even in terms of transitioning here. So, yeah, I don't know. I just would appreciate any amount of support you can give me, uh, be it monetarily or in any way otherwise. And this is not about uh, boosting my channel or anything or guilt tripping you with my sob story. I just wanted to get this off my chest and make my subscribers aware of the situation that I am in and that I would appreciate anything that you guys can help me out with. It would mean literally everything. Like for example, uh, a friend that I made after starting this YouTube channel, my good friend Yuri, has been helping me out a lot. And I genuinely might have not been here if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him showing up and befriending me. So yeah, this just went a little bit longer than I, I intended, but I would just uh, really appreciate anything you can support me with. That's kind of ultimately what I'm trying to say. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, also check out the links in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there, 
and to my what pattern post my stories because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel i'm also a writer and if you don't enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos you can head over to my patreon or to my coffee account where you can pledge support and help get the channel going help support me so i can keep writing the stories you enjoy but if you don't want to do it that's completely fine you can still help me out in other ways like liking this video subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it and i think it's pretty much it for this video so hopefully i'm gonna see you in the next one bye